Come behind the scenes with us for our latest catalog shoot. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter and on Facebook at Flurn. This is our latest catalog shoot. We had a really cool idea. Basically, we wanted to take like a standard catalog shoot and uh, do it a little bit differently. So we've actually got our subjects. They're going to be repeated over and over and over again, uh, but still with the same catalog type of look. So we're going to take you behind the scenes, talk about our lighting, posing, working with the models, and getting the shot perfect. Yeah, let's spread it wider and let's bring it out this way a little bit. Or towards this wall. Okay. Alright, there we go. Let's just give us a little bit more space. For this type of shoot, we try to keep the lighting pretty broad. So we've just got a lot of large light sources, both to the left and to the right of the camera. So right in front of the subject, we've got two large V-flats which are just pumping a lot of light into our subject, but they're coming from a very large light source. So it just kind of looks like a nice big fill light. We've also got a light that's firing straight into the ceiling, which hits the ceiling. In this case, our studio ceiling is made of wood. So it kind of like warms up the lighting a little bit, which actually makes people's skin tones really nice and rich. That's why we do it. So it's pumping into the ceiling, pumping up the level of ambient fill just a little bit more. And it's kind of like warming people's skin tones. We're just adjusting the light, making sure you guys look great. That's my main goal, just making sure you look great. Not that you don't already. And then right above our subjects, we've got a medium-sized softbox. So that's kind of like bringing in some highlights and causing little like, catch lights in people's eyes. So the lighting is relatively simple. I mean, it still took, I guess, six lights to do it. So not that simple, but um, it's just it's just re really broad lighting. You don't have to get like right in and use grids and things like that. And uh, generally for catalog look, this type of thing, that's what you want. It's just a nice, big, broad light. I think that my favorite part of the shoot was working with our models. We had Berkeley and Zach, and uh, kids are just, they're fun to photograph. They're just, they're crazy and they'll do fun, silly things and you can just kind of have fun with them. We were like dancing around earlier before the photo shoot and uh, it, it's just a blast. You would you give direction much differently to an adult than you would to you know someone who's a bit younger. So Berkeley, we're gonna do like this. So I'm gonna have you kind of like walk across here. You can you can walk like this, like like just like a big walk, you know, like something super like expressive and like a cookie walker. Yeah, like like you're almost like dancing walking like this. And I'm gonna take pictures of you over and over and over again. And in the final photo, it'll look like this, but it's all gonna be you. So it's going to be like six of you like walking. It's going to be really, really cool. Uh, Kim, could you take the power down on this uh, overhead light, please? Yeah, that looks great. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, let's do that. Like pull in your clothes and kind of like dancing. Yeah, keep on going with it. You can even like jump and stuff like that. Like get, get into it. Yeah. Let's see it. Awesome, keep on going with it. I'll do it with you. So what we do is kind of like get in there with the kids themselves and like kind of do what they'd be doing. So like if we wanted to dance around a little bit, like I'll actually go in, you know, into the seamless and like start dancing or just kind of like act out what I want them to do. And then they can just kind of like do it to follow it. So instead of just like giving verbal directions, we'll actually go in there and uh, show them what's due. And plus, you know, it's 
it, it's kind of fun. You, you get to learn how to talk to you know, a child completely different and um, to get them to want to do something is, is just totally different than with an adult. You know, adults not like, oh, I'm gonna put this in my portfolio, blah, 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 blah. You know, kids are just like, ah, I just want to have fun. Let's, let's make this happen. So I think that, you know, we definitely try to design a shoot around with using kids, but making sure that they could have fun with the shoots as well. So that's where we come up with the concept of like having them kind of like march across the screen and having, you know, each individual person be uh, what's, we're gonna composite it together. So it's gonna be like multiple versions of the same of the same person uh, looking like they're kind of like walking in step. And uh, that's just something that anyone could kind of do because it's just like a nice stroll right across the seamless and uh, comes up with a really cool picture. Thanks so much for taking a look behind the scenes, guys. From here on out, we're going to edit these images in Photoshop and bring all those multiple frames together. It's gonna be really, really cool. Be sure to check it out. I'll flirt you later. Hi guys, Kat from Flirn here. For more information on our episode, please check out our website at www.flirn.com. Also check out our latest photo shoots, which include turning a woman into a chocolate bar, making an epic burger, and lighting a hand on fire. If you want a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter because it's a free tutorial. It's awesome.